Hey everybody, I had a very, very strange couple of days. A uh, very close member of my family, uh, an aunt that I had grown up with, uh, recently passed away. And I went over there uh, to do uh, the funeral. Now, um, being Hindu, being Indian, uh, it was a Hindu type of funeral um, where people that she had known from all throughout her life, the first people that she saw when she was newly immigrated uh, to the States and knew little English and was just struggling to survive, the families and the couples that helped her out then, uh, to her children, of course, and extended family and, and uh, nephews like me, uh, and old friends from the old country and the new, they all congregate and we share a meal and we do this ritual where it's all about essentially sending her off, you know, in that next part of her journey. And the reason I bring this up is, rightfully so, I think, over the last couple of days, I've really been, been thinking about the big picture and how much time I have here and how much time I have to do the things that I want to get done. And it was very, very interesting because seeing all of these people, I had known many of them since I was a kid. I, when I was small, they were much earlier on in their past. We're talking late 30s, early 40s. And these are people who were at the, the height of their careers. You know, they had all that hubris that comes from saying, I'm successful, I'm doing well, my kids are doing well, and I have all the time in the world to achieve the things that I want to achieve. And there was an energy there and a vitality. And now, in, in the blink of, of an eye, people are older. And energy is lower. And you see people who have made great decisions with their lives and it's born out in their children. It's, it's born out in a level of comfort and ease that they have now as they're older. And you see people who maybe face a tougher go of it and life is grinding them down and, and, and time is passing. And time passes quicker than we ever think that it's going to. And that's what I've been thinking about. I've been thinking about how much time we really have. I wanted to share a statistic that I think just goes right to the heart of this. One in four of adults who are in the working world will become disabled before they retire. In other words, one out of every four people in an office, one out of every four people at a recruiter's office, or who are just working, one in four is going to suffer some kind of a disability or injury that is going to impede their ability to work between now and when they retire. That is a shocking number. That is a shockingly high number. When I heard that, I couldn't believe that that was true. I could not believe that that's the reality. And yet, yes, it is. Um, the average individual disability claim lasts 31.6 months. That's the average. That means the average person is out of the workforce for three years, which is a gigantic, gigantic hit on your prospects, on your abilities to rise. And yet we never think about that. We always think we always have the, 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 the endless amounts of time to do the things that, that we're going to do. So why don't we just cut it off early today? Why don't we just let that hard networking question go for today? Because we have all the, all the amount of time in the world. And again, the stats bear it out. Three quarters of everyone out there earning a wage, earning a career, believe that they have a 2% or less chance of being disabled for three months or more. And clearly, when we see that one in four of us are going to get hit, clearly when we see that the average individual disability claim lasts almost uh, 31.6 months, that, that the, the idea that we have is that we're going to beat the odds. We are the ones who are going to get lucky and just have an unrestricted break until age 60, 65, whatever your goal target is. And we're not, going to, we're not going to have anything that's going to get in the way of that. And clearly that's not the case. That is just not the case. My point is we have less time to do the things that are important to us. You have less time to really get in there and achieve those giant things that you feel are going to get to the heart of the value that you provide. You have less time. And um, I want to share with you my personal formula. When I think I have too much time, 
this is the formula that I plug in based on these numbers, based on the fact that one in four of us are going to get hit, based on the fact that a giant, giant portion of us are going to have our career trajectory go off in, a, in an unexpected and unwanted tangent during our lives. Here's what I say. Whatever number I think I have in terms of time left, I divide it by two. So I'm 37 years old. I definitely don't want to be doing any hardcore working by the time I hit 60. Ideally, way before that, uh, I'd like to be, you know, really switching into more lifestyle mode. Uh, but that's my number. So 60 is my ultimate, like, I'm definitely done. I'm calling it quits uh, by age 60. And it comes to really heavy lifting. So the difference between 37 and 60 is 23 years. That is how most people look at it. They say, I've got 23 years to do everything that I've got to do. So what difference does another week make? What difference does it make if I just hold off that informational call for one more week? What difference if I accept a slightly lower salary than I deserve because I'll make it up in the back end? I've got 23 years. What I do now is I divide that by two. So I don't have 23 years. I have 11.5 years. 11.5. To do everything. To do every major initiative, every major project, every major contribution, every major thing that is going to make sure that I die without regrets when it comes to my professional life and for the life that I've created for my family. Straight up. 11.5 years is not very long. I'm not considered an old person. I'm not considered middle-aged. And 11.5 years goes by in the blink of an eye. I met my wife in 2006. It's two th it's 2017. That time passed in the blink of an eye. We have two amazing children. We have this amazing life. But that time, it passed by in the blink of an eye. So what I'm saying is, the time that you have to do the things that you're going to do is going to pass by in the blink of an eye. If you feel that you have 20 years left, consider it 10 and reframe your decision making in, in terms of 10 years. If you have, if you think you've got 10 years, you've got closer to five and count your lucky stars that you've even made it this far without some catastrophe hitting you. So I'm not saying this to discourage you. If, if anything else, I, I'm saying this to light that fire under your butt to go out there and make it happen today. Make it happen today because you know you can. You know you've got the energy, you've got the will, you've got the intelligence, and you've got the balls and the ambition to be watching videos like this and trying to self-improve yourself. So you know the truth. You know the truth that you've got to hustle. And what I'm saying to you is whatever your number is, divide that by two, and now you're coming much closer to how much time you really have left to do the things that you're going to do. Do those things today. Do those things now when you get off this video and just jump in and do one thing that's going to advance you today and start treating your career like it's something that is truly finite. You know, we only play this game for a certain amount of time and it's half as long as you think. And so I want you to think about that. You know, cutting that time that you think, that number of, uh, of years that you have, I want you to cut it in half and start acting in line with that number instead of the mythical one. Because I promise you, in all likelihood, it's going to be closer to the lower number. And one other thing, because I, I got to say it, I'm not a financial guy. I'm not a financial planner guy. I'm not a Dave Ramsey guy, although I love Dave Ramsey. Um, he says it and I says it too. Those stats that I talked about, if that is not a reason for you to go out and get some private disability income insurance, I don't know what is. Um, I saw those stat, stats and it terrified me. And I got some and I feel a hell of a lot better. Uh, because uh, the bulk of my family and our ability to support ourselves comes through my business and, and, and the things that I do. So it's time to start thinking about it like that, you know? Um, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you here. Uh, and uh, if you're in that place where you're making those moves and you're feeling that sense of urgency, then if you haven't already, connect with me on LinkedIn. Uh, Connect with me through UpgradeYourJob.com or you can join my private mailing list and you'll get once a week updates, insights, things to help move the ball forward from someone who is not an HR guy or a company guy. I'm not a company guy. I'm not an HR guy. And I'm not a recruiter. The only people I care about are people who are ambitious individuals hustling for that better life, hustling for their legacies. So if that's you, UpgradeYourJob.com. By all means, go there. Uh, connect with me on LinkedIn. Would love to hear from you. Would love to hear about the challenges you're, that you're facing right now. And uh, if you faced a challenge recently uh, that's really made you think and ponder, 
let me know because I'd love to hear about it. Thanks so much. Have a great day.